that marks a new high standard of tire safety. For now, General has added to the famous blowout-proof tire with the patented low-pressure construction, the final factor of safety, the remarkable skid-safe protection of the new silent safety tread. This new General, the blowout-proof tire for 1934, is a ribless, noiseless, skidless tire, a tire that is blowout-proof and longer wearing than ever. The blowout-proof tire is patented. It is made only by General, and it is sold exclusively by General Tire Dealers. This General Tire Dealer in your community is a successful, independent merchant. He's a real tire expert with the experience of factory training. Consult him freely about tires, regardless of make, or about any related driving problem. He will give you personal, interested, and intelligent service. And don't forget, it is through the General Tire Dealer alone that you can get the only truly blowout-proof tire, the General Tire, with the patented low-pressure construction. Trouble brewing. <laughs> and uh, now uh, I want you to meet a most versatile gentleman, a man who has accomplished things. You bet I have. <laughs> and a man who will probably make this the hottest program on the air, <laughs> our janitor. I tangle you. <clears throat> Uh, maybe I'm in the wrong studio. I don't... <laughs> Say, uh, fella, what program is this? Uh, General Tire. Well, here I am. Doesn't that mean anything? Jack Benny is my name. Uh, pardon me, I didn't get that. Uh, Jack Benny. What is it again? Constantine Acropolis. <laughs> oh, oh, Jack Benny. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> of course. Of course. Yes. Uh, whom do you want to see? I don't want to see anybody. I'm going to be the master of ceremonies on this program. Well, that's news to me. News to you. Say, didn't you see that article about me in the paper? Oh, I seldom read the want ad. Oh, it looks like <laughs> going to have plenty of trouble here, too. Uh, well, tell me, Mr. Wilson, what's your racket? I mean, what do you what do you do on this program? I sell general tires. No skidding. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, That's my good, friend. is it? And they're not only skidless, but run on 30 to 40 percent less. Hey, wait a minute, wait a minute. Listen, that reminds me, Wilson. You know, you being the announcer, I'd like to have an understanding right now before we go any further. Well, what's that? You see, Mr. Wilson, for the past two years, I've been having trouble with you announcers. I mean, you always insist on butting in with the advertising. Oh, you won't have that trouble here, Mr. Benny. Well, I'm glad to hear it. Of course, I don't mind if you find 
find the right place for it, you know. But don't keep dragging it in every minute. You know? uh, I'll remember that. But you'll have to admit that the general tire is absolutely safe. Yes, but you're not. So keep away from me with that advertising. Will you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, say, by the way, Wilson, I'd like to meet some of the people in the company. I mean, as long as I'm going to be here, you oh, know. Of course, of course. Uh, Jack, I, I want you to meet uh, Mr. Bester, the director of the orchestra. Oh, glad to know you, Mr. Bester. And the pleasure is all yours. <laughs> That's what you think, huh? <laughs> so your name, uh, your name is Bester, eh? And the first name? Don. Don. Well, that's strange. Don. You're Don Bester, and he's Don Wilson. Well, uh, two Don and one to go. <laughs> that's good. <laughs> that, uh, boy, are we hot tonight, and it's only our first program. Uh, uh, you seem to have quite an orchestra here, Mr. Bester. Oh, yes. I've augmented my musical constituents to embellish my in symphonic in interpretation. Uh, what did he say, Wilson? <laughs> oh, <laughs> he says he's pretty good. Well, he doesn't have to use medical terms, you know. <laughs> Sounded to me as though he read that off of a prescription or something. <laughs> say, uh, Bester, you seem, uh, you seem to be a college man. Oh, yes. Carnegie Tech, 28. And you? Leavenworth, 10, 31. <laughs> We're just a couple of freshmen out on parole, you know. Well, Mr. Bester, how about a number? I'd like to hear the boys. Certainly. We'll run to a little composition that I wrote entitled Contented. Hmm, that's fine. I'm glad to hear that. Hello, Mr. Benny. Oh, hello. Remember me? Uh, your face is gone, too. No, Dan. Well, that helps a little. Uh, helps a little. So long, Mr. Benny. Hey, yonder, wait a minute. It looks like, um, you know, it looks like we're going to be together for quite a few weeks, and I, uh... I was just wondering if, uh, you see, I happen to be a little short tonight, and I was, uh, just wondering if you could let me have five until next Friday night, huh? Glad I've seen you, Mr. Benny. So long. I gotta go now. <laughs> Play, Frank. I mean, Don. <laughs> Looks like I'm mixed up with a cheap crowd again. That's all. <laughs> Boys, you got there, Doc. Thank you. 
course, I doubt whether the double limit was a double of the card table. You know, the table. That thing is familiar. Who is he? A wrestler from the coast. Uh, Mr. Benny, there's, uh, there's a lady at the door that wishes to see you. Uh, send her in. Uh, right this way, ma'am. Uh, well, 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 hello, Mary. Mary, well, well, what are you doing up here? Gee, I'm glad to see you. Well, I just thought I'd drop in and see how your new program's coming along. Yeah, it's sweet of you. I ran up here without having any dinner. Gee, I'm starved. Oh, waiter, waiter, will you get me a ham sandwich? Mary, that's Don Bester. Oh. <laughs> Well, what's he wearing that apron for? That's his dress shirt sticking out, you know. <laughs> well, don't tell him. No. Uh, by the way, now. Well, I've been around looking for work, and I found a job yesterday as a private secretary. Isn't that swell? A private secretary? Gee, that's nice work. How'd you get it? Well, I showed him your recommendation, but I got the job anyway. You did, huh? <laughs> well, that's good. Does the boss like your work? Does he? At the end of the first day, he put his arm around me and kissed me. Oh, he did? Mm -hmm. huh? You think I ought to go back there tomorrow? No, not if he's that appreciative, I wouldn't know. <laughs> Say, Mary, I want you to meet Don Bester, our new orchestra leader here. Mr. Bester, this is Miss Livingston. Tom, I'm sure. Oh, my word. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> he isn't he cute? Uh-huh. Say, Jack, who does he remind you of? Somebody. Now, don't tell me. I won't, I won't. Uh, <laughs> doesn't he remind you of, um, oh, who's that fellow who looks like Bing Crosby? Boris Karloff. <laughs> yeah, but that isn't the one. I give up. Well, Mary, I'm glad you came up, huh? Oh, who does that fellow look like? You mean Don Bester? That's it. He looks just like Don Bester. That is Don Bester. Then I was right. I noticed the resemblance right away. Yeah, now we're getting someplace again. Oh, Jack, you should have been over at our house last night. We had the swellest party. Yeah, I wish I'd have known it, Mary. Everybody was there. See what a blowout. But when you use the general tire, you will have no blowout because it is soft, flexible. There it goes, Mary. There it goes. There it goes. See, I'm going to have that same trouble here. Every oh, day. who's that tall, handsome fella? Introduce me, Jack. Yeah. Wilson, this is uh, Mary Livingston. Hello, Mary. Hello. Hey, Jack, who does he remind you of? I don't know, Mary. George Bernard Gandy or somebody. You better run along now. Huh? All right. Oh, Jack, I knew I had something to tell you. What? I met Frank Parker today. He opened up a music store on 8th Avenue. That's nice. How's he doing? Oh, terrible. He just can't seem to get started. Oh, that's too bad. Huh? I'll tell you. Let's go over and see him. I'm sure he'll appreciate it. Oh, I haven't got the time now, Mary. You know, it's oh, a but, program. Oh, but Jack, it's only two blocks from here. Come on. You oh, know, he'll be so happy to see you. But, Mary, I'm busy right now, you know. Well, there's nothing doing around here anyway. Oh, all right, let's go then. Play, Frank. I mean, Don. <laughs> gee, I'm all mixed up on this. driver. Oh, this is a place, Jack. Gee, you never know it was a music store. Why doesn't Frank put a sign out or something? Well, Mary, let's go in and see him, huh? 
Hello, Parker. How are you, Jack? Oh, hello, Mary. Hello, Frank. Gee, nice little place you've got here. How's business? Oh, I... I see. <laughs> Aren't you making any money? No. Last week, I lost $100, and the week before, 200 Well, why don't you close up this week and break even? That's a good idea, Mary. Say, hey, Mary, who does he remind you of? Uh, Frank Parker. That's marvelous. That a girl. You know, Frank, I know what's the matter with this place. It's a music store, all right, but nobody knows it. You've got to have a little noise around here, a little excitement. I'll show you what I mean. Mary, you go over to that piano. See, we'll help him out. Frank, give me that fiddle. Here you are. Mmm, it's a Stradivarius. Do you mind if I use it? No, go right ahead. It's an old one anyway. Oh, well, then. That's the trouble. You ought to get some new stock in here, you know? Come on, Mary, play something. Let's get okay, a little excitement. Jack. Go ahead. That's it. We get a little thing going. Start up this music store. That's it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, fellas. You see here, see, here comes a customer already. Uh, good evening, madam. Uh, what can I do for you? I'd like a copy of Going to Heaven on a Mule from Wonder Bar. Uh, Going to Heaven on a Mule? Yes. I'm sorry, we're all out of that. Any other place you'd like to go? No. <laughs> well, madam, we, uh, we won't cope to, you know. Anything else? Let me see. Give me a copy of Your Time is My Time. Yes, ma'am. Here it is right here. Your Time is My Time. How much is it? Uh, $3. $3? What for? A dollar for Your Time and two dollars for My Time. You see, My Time is very valuable. You know? Oh, here comes another customer. Go ahead, Frank. See what you can do. Please. How do you do, sir? Uh, what do you wish? Brother, can you spare a dime? Yes, sir. Here's a copy. I'd sooner have the cash. Oh, all right. Here you are. Thanks. Well, what do I do now, Jack? Go stick your head in that French horn and don't come out. <laughs> the fine businessman. Mary, get behind the counter while I check up on the stock. Hmm? Okay, Jack. And don't forget, everybody buys something. If you haven't got what they want, show them something just as good. You understand? Sure. If somebody wants St. Louis Blues and we haven't got it, I'll give them the Cincinnati Red. Mary, what's the matter with you? Mary, that's a baseball team. That's what they think. All right, get the word. Remember, the customer, the customer is always wrong, and no money will be cheerfully refunded. And I get it. How do you do? Uh, what do you wish, madam? Alice, blue gown. Yes, ma'am, what size? <laughs> I want plain Alice, blue gown. I understand, but do you want it for just around the house or for evening wear? Mary. No, I want the song. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-dum. Oh, I see. Jack. Yes, Mary. Uh, have we got da 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 uh, Wait, I'll see. No, 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 but we've got da 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 I don't care. I want da-da-da-da-da-da-da. All right, all right. We'll order a copy for you. Good day, lady. Good day, and this is the last time I'll ever come in here. Hey, Jack, who does she remind you of? I don't care, and don't bother me. Mm -hmm. Oh, the cash register. Did you make a sale, Mary? No, I'm just taking a dollar out for lunch. <laughs> well, Parker, it's better than playing the horses, you know. Um, <clears throat> uh, good evening, uh, madam. How'd you do? Hmm. Have you the sextet from Lucia? No, we have the quartet from Duck Soup, I think. <laughs> I don't think I'd care for that. What kind of moon songs have you? Moon songs? Uh, just a moment. Oh, Miss Livingsweather. Uh, yes, Mr. Bennington. Uh, what kind of, uh, what kind of moon songs have we? Uh, Shine on Harvest Moon, Underneath the Hall of Moon, and I Hate to See the Evening Sun Go Down. <laughs> Uh, there you are, madam. Uh, which one would you like? The last one strikes me. How does it go? Goes like this. I hate to see that evening sun go down. <laughs> never mind, never mind, never mind. I'll take a can of tomatoes. Yes, ma'am. What key? What key, madam? Oh, say, I just thought of something. I want to hear Orchids in the Moonlight. Yes, ma'am. We'll have one of our regular men sing it for you. I wish you would. Uh, Mr. Parkerton. Oh, Mr. Parkerton. Yes, Mug. Hmm. <laughs> Try and help a fella. Will you sing Orchids in the Moonlight? I'd be glad to. Hmm. 
What's that, another sale? No, I have to go out to lunch, too. Sing, Frank. You know. <laughs> In my love, Panama, for the time, there is peace in the twilight, when the day is through, for the shadows that haunt only me, ruling all, all my longing for you. A dream to the moon Upon a sea of blue For the moonbeams that fall Only sleep will recall Love is all, love is you Orchids in the Moonlight, sung by Frank Parker. Well, madam, can I sell you a copy? No, I'll take Frank Parker. Wrap him up. Very good. Goodbye, madam. Uh, so long, Parker. <laughs> oh, Miss uh, Livingsmore. Uh, yes, Mr. Benningworth. Uh, we'll have to bolster up our instrument trade. What are we getting for pianos? Uh, Four dollars. We'll cut them to three and a half. We have too much stock as it is. Mm. Oh, whoop, another customer. Looks like Don Bester. Who does he remind you Quiet, of? will you? Uh, 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 <clears throat> yes, sir? <clears throat> I'm an orchestra leader. Mm. I'd like to see a baton. Oh, you mean that stick you lead the orchestra with? Yes. Well, uh, here you are, sir. This is, here's one. This is guaranteed to lead 25 men and to keep strict tempo. Mm. I don't like the look of that stick. That's all right. The orchestra boys never look at it anyway. You know what I'm <laughs> All right. I'll take it. Uh, by the way... I want some sheet music, too. Okay. I'd like to get a copy of, uh, Chimney Exhaust Finds Its Way Into Your Optic. You mean, uh, well, you mean smoke gets in your eyes? Mm, yes. If you want to be vulgar. <laughs> Repeat that line. It's a good laugh. I want to hear it. Go ahead, Frank. I say yes if you want to be vulgar. Isn't that good? I think that's cute. Huh? Here you are, sir. That'll be a dollar thirty cents. A dollar for the stick and thirty cents for the music. Here you are. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> right over, step right over here. And what sort of instrument do you like to hear? I like to hear that the stick nickel and buckle. I'm afraid we can't. Afraid we can't get you stoop nickel and you see they don't come sour. Well, that's a good radio. You want to buckle? But they're not now. I'm sorry. Huh? Well, what can I hear now? Well, I can give you something good. Now listen. When I eyes are smiling, sure to fly some more in spring. <laughs> Mary, turn the radio off, off, please, quick. That's just a small station, you know what I mean. Well, how, um, how did you like it? Free. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Come in, um, come in again sometime. Well, you should live so long. Say, what's your name, anyway? I'd like to keep track of all our customers. Ginsburg. Ginsburg. And the first name? Don. Oh, sir. Right, right. Son, where are you from? Don. Goodbye. Goodbye, old boy. Goodbye, goodbye. Jack, behind you are. Morton Donnie, I yes. think. Yes. Yes, How do you do? How do you do? Anything for you, sir? I'd like to buy a musical instrument. Yes, what kind? A microphone. 
Funny, we have one right here. In fact, it's the only thing we have left in stock. Eh? Mm -hmm. Do you mind if I try it out? No, no, no. Go right ahead. Uh, when you're you thinking are. of buying tires, go to the General Tire Blowout Proof oh, Tire yeah. with a new silent safety press. I knew it. Well, the safety you can possibly... Jack, what does he remind you of? The product, Mary. He'll remind us of it every week. Well, Mary, guess we might as well close up for the day. What do you say, Parker? Okay, Jack. What's that, Parker? A sale? You no, know, we might as well all go to lunch. Atta boy. <laughs> Let's go. Play, Frank. I mean, Don. But the important thing is how many more safe miles are left in warmer weather means faster driving and longer trips. That's when weak tires fail. Don't risk the terrible consequences of an unexpected blowout. The general blowout-proof tires give you what no other tire can, the absolute protection of riding on 30 to 40% less air. See the general tire dealer tomorrow. The store of this independent tire merchant is not only a quality headquarters, but bargain hunters will find his rack always full of new and used tires of all makes, taken off in exchange for blowout-proof general. For your own safety and the security, remember this. It's the patented low-pressure construction that makes General the only truly blowout-proof tire. This exclusive feature, plus the new silent safety tread, makes General the safest tire ever built. In Canada, General Tires are built by the General Tire and Rubber Company of Canada Limited, Toronto. Uh, this is the uh, last number of the first program in the new General Tire series. Well, folks, I hope you all enjoyed our half hour and be with you again at the same time next Friday night. Oh, Don, too many Dons on this program. Good night, folks. Yes. National Broadcasting Company.